Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rothmas key skill video on establishing the constant of proportionality for variables which are directly proportional. Now what do I mean by directly proportional? I just mean that two different quantities scale in the same way. For example, if I was to say double uh, the number of sweets I buy in a shop, that would double the cost. So the number of sweets you buy and the cost of those sweets in total, they are directly proportional because when you double one, you double the other. Or let's say imagine a race where you have a fixed amount of time and you want to run as fast as possible in that fixed amount of time. If you were to double your speed, you would double the distance that you covered in that fixed amount of time. So speed and distance would be directly proportional. If you double one, you double the other. If you triple one, you triple the other. If you halve one, you halve the other. So in this case, we've got these two quantities here, y and x. They are directly proportional. Now, all you need to do is the words is directly proportional to, you can replace with equals k times, yeah? So if we've got y, let's write that, y is directly proportional to equals k times, and then x. And that gives us an equation. Now, at the moment, we don't know what that k is. X and Y are variables which we can set to different values, like here for example, but K is some fixed number that we need to work out. And this K is known as the constant of proportionality. Now, if you have some values given, then we can work out what that K is. So we're told that if X was three, then Y would be 12. So let's just substitute those values into this equation. Well, Y in this particular case is 12, we got equals k times, and then in this particular case, x is 3. And if you want to simplify that, well, k times 3 is just 3k. So, if 3 lots of k is 12, then how do we get rid of that 3? Well, we just divide both sides by 3, and then 12 divided by 3 is 4. 3 lots of k divided by 3. The divide by 3 gets rid of that times by 3 there, and we're just left with k is 4. Now, if we write out this equation again with the k that we know, we've got y is equal to 4 times x, or just 4x. And that is the final answer. So we've now got a formula which connects y and x. And that means, for example, if we were to give it a different value of x, rather than 3, we had, I don't know, if x was 5, then we know that y would be equal to, according to this formula, y would be equal to 4 times 5 which would be 20. 